it's your friendly neighborhood tax man here with the healthy tax benefit. We are always looking for a healthy benefit, whether it's a physical, mental, or financial health benefit. Recently, the IRS announced what we could consider a healthy tax benefit. The annual contribution limit for health saving accounts, or HSAs, will soon get a sizable boost due to inflation. A health savings account, or HSA, is a type of personal savings account. You can set up an HSA to pay certain health care costs, and an HSA allows you to put money away and withdraw it tax-free as long as it's used for qualified medical expenses, like deductibles, co-pays, co-insurance, and more. An HSA can also be used for retirement investing. The main downside of an HSA is that you must have a high deductible health insurance plan to get one. The HSA contribution limits for 2023 are $3,850 for a self-only coverage and $7,750 for family coverage. Those 55 and older can contribute an additional $1,000 as a catch-up contribution. For 2024, the yearly limit for self-only HSA plans is increasing to $4,150 and the cap for family plans is jumping to $8,300. The catch-up contribution for savers age 55 and older remains at 1000 each. However, that's bumping the total deposit limit for a couple of older individual savers to 10300 This jump is 8% and 7% res- increase in the contribution limits respectively. Big jump from the average increase of roughly 1.6%. Health saving accounts can offer three main tax benefits. One, there's an upfront above the line deduction for contribution that allows you to claim the tax break even if you don't itemize your deductions. And you can contribute up to the tax deadline. Two, unlike pre-tax individual retirement accounts or 401k plans, which may also provide an upfront tax break, you can withdraw money anytime tax free for qualified medical expenses. And three, you can also grow the account tax-free by investing, which can become sort of a retirement nest egg for medical expenses. However, HSA accounts are not for everyone. It could be an option for people who fall within one of the following categories. You rarely get sick or injured. Folks in their 20s and 30s may be prime targets. You can afford to pay your deductible without having to go into debt. You're willing to pay your deductible to get medical treatment. You have enough money to fund a HSA each month, you want another financial way to support your retirement, and or the out-of-pocket maximum is affordable. But if you fall in one of these categories, an HSA may not be a good fit for you. You have little ones or sick dependents. You have a chronic condition or need to see a doctor frequently. You're considering or anticipating a big surgery, or you have several expensive prescription Bottom line, depending on your current circumstances, an HSA account is something to consider looking into when considering medical needs, taxes, and your long-term financial health. For as my Aunt Myrtle used to say, an unturned rock is a wasted opportunity. And when considering our health, whether physical, mental, or financial, we should leave no rock unturned. Remember, the tax man says the best way to prepare for tomorrow is to acquire as much information today.